Well, depending on how lawmakers vote, South Dakotans could soon see a new tax cut. Tomorrow, lawmakers will hear proposals on three cuts. One would change the sales tax rate from 45 to 4% on goods and services. Another would bring a $300 tax credit for homeowners. And a third would drop the sales tax on groceries to 0%. Kettle Lands' Dan Santella talked with both sides of the aisle, including a lawmaker who put the question of tax cuts to a public poll on social media. Republican Representative Tyler Tortson took to Twitter last night for this poll, asking people which of the three tax cuts they'd like to see happen. As of this afternoon, the runaway winning response was to drop the sales tax on groceries. We're past the halfway point in session now. We're getting down to the end. We're looking at finalizing the budget. Uh, last week, the legislature um, locked in our revenue estimates. And so I wanted to see just kind of a raw, kind of straw poll, if you will, on Twitter. Tortson says he likes all three proposals. Democratic Senator Reynold Nesaba, who, like Tortson, represents Minnehaha County in Pierre, retweeted the poll. I think that Twitter poll is about as good as, you know, what I found knocking on doors, talking to people. And my sense of knocking on doors with people is they'd like to see the sales tax on food reduced. As they're written right now, the tax credit for homeowners and sales tax cut for goods and services do not have Nesaba's support. Dropping the sales tax on groceries, however, does. He thinks that proposal is the only one of these with a shot at eventually receiving the governor's signature. My sense is dead on arrival in the Senate in its current form. But if we could get two cents off this year and then we could come back and take a look next year, I think that would be the just sort of the political plausible way forward. All three proposals, HB 1043, HB 1075, and HB 1137, are scheduled to be heard in a meeting of the House Committee on Appropriations tomorrow. Trying to see where we're going to settle on uh, as a caucus overall and the legislative body overall. I think in the next couple of days here, we're going to really iron out and see what's, what's going to be the best one going forward. In Sioux Falls, Dan Centella. Kettle Land News. And we will be following the fate of all three bills tomorrow. Stay with Kettle Land News on air and online to find out what happens in committee.